What's good YouTube, Ash Bash back again with another video. No sneakers this time, we're back to some apparel videos. I don't think I've done a jacket review since my Zara and Topman cop, which was, that was like last year, winter time I guess. But this is a jacket that I'm gonna shout out first of all to the Hoxton Trend. The dude's a legend, actually bumped into him the other day, proper safe guy. But he's got one of the dopest YouTube channels when it comes to jackets. He covers Montclair, Canada Goose, Stone Island, everything. If you're looking for a new jacket, 100% check out his channel. I'll link it, top left, top right. I never remember which side it's on. But 100% check him out, because he'll get you onto some dopeness. And this is one of the jackets that he showed before in one of his videos. And I was like, immediately, that's dope. Need to get that in my life. And here it is. It is the Pyrenex Minstrel Bomber Jacket. Super duper comfortable, super duper warm. Looks dope on. And it's just very, very, very nice jacket. I'll show you some quick little close-ups of it. So here's the hood, which I believe is um, coyote fur. And then we've got the red jacket. It's got loads of little details on it. If you can see, it's got Pyrenex written on the little buttons there. And here's the logo itself. Kind of Montclair Jace in terms of that. But actually the company, from what I was reading and from what he said in his videos, 150 plus years old, actually got more heritage than Montclair. And the name comes from the Pyrenex Mountains, which is in France which is where this company sort of came from. They were famous for their down, the duck fur, the duck feathers and all that, which is what insulates this jacket. It's super duper padded, which is what keeps it super warm. It's also a windbreaker and it's water resistant and waterproof. So water just <laughs> goes from it and the water doesn't go through as well. So it covers you on all bases. It's got a removable hood as well. So if you don't like um, the fur on the hoods, you can take that off as well. But yeah, it's just a buff jacket, mate. Size-wise, I went for a XL. Uh, according to Hox, he was wearing a medium in his video, but he's taller than me and a little bit slimmer than I am. I'm currently 240 pounds of raw muscle uh, right now. So yeah, I suggested, he suggested to me a large or maybe an XL, so I ended up buying both. Tried the large one first, and it was fine, but it's a tiny bit too snug. XL came like a day later, and I thought, yeah, that fits perfectly. And I've got to worry about lifting my arms up and all that. And this bottom piece here is super stretchy, so it fits really, really well. So that's why I went for XL. So size-wise, I suggest you have to go by your size. I'm five foot ten, as I said, two hundred forty pounds. Kind of got big arms, which is what is an issue for a lot of jackets and stuff. And the XL fits me perfectly, but I'd imagine most people, large or medium, would fit them calmly. And yeah, dope, 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 dope jacket. So yeah, I got a little video of me trying it on and wearing it and stuff, so have a look at that. jacket is just so dope like me and my brother went to watch Man United the other day and my brother just spotted me straight away in the train station because this red just sticks out nicely like it's just it's insane it's a proper proper nice color that pops and as I said super warm couldn't recommend it enough Pyrenex I'm gonna be definitely looking for more of their stuff their G layers and all that in the future I was considering at first getting a Canada Goose coat, but if you live in London, I'm sure anywhere that you live, Canada Goose is everywhere. Like literally every person I see is rocking one. How everyone's spending 8.50 on a coat. How sweet. I must be missing something, but everyone's doing it. So that's what sort of put me off getting it. And when I saw this, I thought, 
I like this a lot. It's a different brand. It's got some heritage to it. And that's why I went for it. I've got another jacket upstairs, which I'll do a review for soon, which is another brand that you don't see hell of a lot of people rocking, but it's very dope as well. So shout out to Pyrenex, shout out to the Hobson Trend once again. This is gonna be Ashbrash signing off. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, more apparel, and sneaker videos to come. Perfection7 on all the socials. Thank you.